So after Momofuku, we were exhausted because we spent like three hours chatting and getting to know each other, having a blast, as you can see. The next morning, Saturday morning, we got up, Ruby and I, we went to yoga here in Arlington. It was okay, it was a little show-offy, but it was all right, it served its purpose. After that, we came home and literally just gabbed did our makeup and like just did like girly things for the rest of the day until Danielle and Sandra came into town. Which point Ruby and I went out to dinner at Ancho, which is a Spanish tapas place, and Ruby freaking knew the owners of it. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Spending all of my days and all of my races trying to get laid. Watching all of my homies chill with they shorties since the fifth grade. Guess that's part of my story. Don't you feel sorry? Least I get paid. Rather be in my forties telling y'all stories about how I used to roll with my gang and I used to let. And thus began our crazy Saturday night. Ended up meeting my girl Sabrina and her hubby Kendall and their good friend, and we again ate our tails off, and the food was legitimately delicious. After Ancho, Danielle and Sandra met us out at the 930 Club, which is a live music venue here in DC. I had never been dope. I mean, I don't even know why I haven't been there because I love live music so much. Anyway, we went and Ruby knew the lead singer of the band that was playing that night, Galactica, with Corey Glover as the lead singer. So we got all access, backstage passes, VIP treatment to this live show at this dope 930 venue, and we just like had so much fun. Yes, for I'm cool on my own. No motherfucker gonna ruin my day. Stubborn cause I bet ya I do what I want when I want to I tell you straight up if I want ya So we ended up kicking it with the band Like we didn't get home till 2am Tour bus like just so so much fun The next day now it was Sunday We were a little bit slow cause by this time we had been like Kicking it hard Friday and Saturday So Sunday we wanted to do brunch And we ended up at brunch at Union Market Which is always so fun It's just eclectic stuff Eclectic people, good food Where did you go? Oh yeah I've been all on my own Trying to find a way home Don't care what you say, what you do I've been thinking the same way as you I heard you was looking for the truth Baby girl, I ain't that far from you oh, I, I told these average boys I'm the man since the seven And when the dumb yitch gon' break it off, that's my leverage Defend they rummages, never gon' get the premise 
Discover why we incapable about the madness I've been feeling your thoughts, you've been feeling me not Telepathy in your race, telepathy in your cough Every time I inhale my chest feel like it's falling off Give it time cause I'm market. The girls decided that they wanted to see all the touristy sites in the National Mall So I was like totally down for that So we ended up taking a cab to Capitol Hill And we walked all the way from Capitol Hill to the Lincoln Memorial And so that's over two miles So we saw everything in between Close? Wait, the Hamilton is closer to this building, right? No. So the, so I might have seen Where did you go? Oh, yeah. I've been all on my own. Trying to find a way home. Don't care what you say, what you do. I've been thinking the same way as you. I heard you was looking for the truth. Baby girl, I ain't that far from you. Oh, I say. After that, we were exhausted, so we came back home and rested. But we had run of reservations at Blue Duck Tavern, which is a fancy schmancy restaurant in DC that the Obamas usually go to when they are celebrating, I guess when they were in office. So we ended up there. I had the pork chops, Ruby had the duck, Sandra had this quail, Danielle had the chicken. So we definitely like did the whole thing and tasted and it was phenomenal. Kind of expensive, but still, still kind of worth it. Hi, how are you? Hi. Um, we had reservations for eight fifteen under Kellyanne. Someone take me home. I've been searching in my pocket for my wallet, find my phone. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. This has been an epic weekend. It has been insanely fun. This is so sweet of him. Oh my gosh. I'm really nice. Okay, you filmed me. I'll blow this up. This is crazy. Okay, I have to make a wish. Wish. Um, oh my god, you look so pretty. I, what should I wish for? Um, um, the answers to all your questions. Yeah. The right to choose. <laughs> choose what? Slavery. Whatever you want. Nah. Um, After that, we came home and we just kind of passed out. The next morning, sadly, I had to drop Ruby to the airport because it was her time to go home, which I was really sad about, but I was so grateful and happy that she came. And then after that, Danielle and Sandra had some alone time, so they went into the city. I ran some errands, thinking about getting a MacBook Pro, so did some research about that. And then finally, I ended up meeting them in the city for Ethiopian dinner, which I hadn't had since Stockholm. And actually, in Stockholm, I had Eritrean food, but it's pretty similar, so I kind of knew what to expect. I loved you, now I love you, swear this shit's so funny. I've been all around the world, but are you thinking I'm here? Call you once or twice to tell you you my honey closed out my birthday for the weekend. The next day was Tuesday, I had to work from home, so it was a bit crazy. All I have to say is this year, my birthday was so epic. I was really longing to be around people that I genuinely connect with on a deep level. And here in DC, I have to be honest with you, there are not that many people like that. My really good friends are all over the country, and to have Ruby Bell and Danielle come to town to celebrate my birthday, with me in such an epic style over such over such a long weekend it really warmed my heart and it honestly it made me fall back in love with DC because over the winter just not connecting with anybody truly and the winter being so long and drawn out I really kind of was questioning why I was here but to have Ruby and Danielle and Sandra come into town and to spend my birthday with me in such high fashion just really reminded me what it's like to be around people that love you and that you love. So this year, I couldn't have asked for a better birthday.